because, uh, well, you probably did a, you know, he won't let anybody help him. He's got to do everything himself. So he uh, he built a nice little home by the race shop. So we have people come in from out of town to stay at, things like that. Well, yesterday, first he's on the bulldozer, clearing all the land, getting the grass all graded. And then I uh, hung a gate by himself yesterday, <laughs> big gate. So he, he called and said, yeah, I'm, I'm hurting myself, man. So for Father's Day, just slow down a little bit, Dad. There you go. What about? Yeah, go ahead. We'll give it to Graham. What about your dad? Is he like? Does he sing in the car to the radio or anything like that? No, I've never heard him sing, but I'm not sure I want to either because I know I I can sing, and it's uh, he can't be any better than me. I wouldn't think so. Um, no, I think yeah, probably what people don't realize about about my dad is that you know of course people see all the success that he's had on the track, but I think what's in, what's impressive about him is is what he's achieved away from here and uh, through through all of our car dealerships and everything else that we have it's uh you know he's he's created something so impressive and the person that he is away from the racetrack is far more impressive than what he's achieved on and of course the fans you know you don't really get to see that or or realize that but um you know certainly living in his footsteps is far harder than just being at the racetrack there's so much more to achieve beyond this and and it's great for me and i'm very fortunate to have him because as we look at all of our car dealerships things like that it makes me you know think about what what could be ahead of me in the, in the future and uh, there's very few people in the world that have a dad that's that's achieved nearly as much as him if anything and uh so i'm very very proud of him and uh you know, certainly hope that one day we can uh, we can be looked up to in the same light that Dad came. So uh, he's he's a great man. So well said. So when you do drive for him, you know he's going to have a little extra money to throw you away, right? What about your dad, Marco? Yeah. What about your dad? You know this is the toughest Q and A ever. I'm sorry. I'm head. sorry. <laughs> right, right. Um, no, I think. Uh, Probably has to be, and I've been around the sport actually for 25 years. I mean, understanding it for probably 15 or so years, and uh, he's probably the most intense individual um, as far as when he when his mind's made up about something, you know. And I think uh, that's one of the the many reasons he was so successful, um, you know, as a driver and, and anything in, in business as well. I had to be very thick-skinned as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, just just so intense. I think uh, when when uh, the decision's made, he's gonna make sure he does everything in his power to uh, to make sure that that's the way it happens. All said. Well, I know we uh, have a lot. Yes. We have a lot of activities planned for tomorrow. We still have our Battle of the Bands competition down in Turn One, but before we say good night to these gentlemen again michael thank you so very very much for what you did to bring this race back up. one more time race fans michael and marco andretti bobby and graham rahal aj and larry boyd thank you everyone